Oh. Here we go. We're live. Episode one, Beak Speak, <laughs> with Jake and Ollie. Episode one. Yeah. yeah. Episode, one. Yeah. Episode one, season one. Yeah, season one. It's going to be, as long as Beak keep producing beers, it's going to be a, a, a bi-weekly. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to commit right now. Every new yeah. release means a new episode of Beak Speak. Exactly. Yeah. So... Today, we're going to be trying a few beers from Beak. I'm joined by the lovely Ollie from Pint Sized. If you're subscribed to me and you're not subscribed to him, that's like the wrong way around. Because <laughs> he, he's got a much bigger following than me. But it's uh, it's lovely to have you on. I don't make those trips, those day one trips to Little and Aldi like you do, though. No, got to be right, right place at the right time. <laughs> I'm kind of a one episode a quarter kind of guy. Hmm. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah. Because I asked Ollie to to join me on this on this little chat because because uh, you're pretty localish you're localish to Beak yeah you're that yeah, it's nice that, that it's, neck uh, of the woods. yeah it's probably twenty minutes up the road in Lewis um, so yeah it was it was exciting stuff because Worthing hasn't had a new brewery for for a long time they have now uh, yeah. with Hand opening up or relocating but yeah it was mad it was like we were I was at uni down in Falmouth and then left and then Verdant started. <laughs> and then lived in East Anglia and left and duration and Burt Mill started. And I was like, I'm <laughs> determined to live somewhere that has a... Where there's good breweries. <laughs> uh, yeah, a hype-filled craft brewery. And here they are. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was good. We went down to the tap room oh, in the in the summer of no lockdown. Uh, yeah. And it's a great spot. Oh, my God. Yeah, it uh, looks good. It looks good on, from, from what I've seen. I'd, I, I, once this is all over, I will be making my way down there to the yeah. lovely... Lewis, because that's the thing. Because a lot of people did their did a kind of pilgrimage to Lewis a lot for for the Harvey's crawls that you can do, and so yeah. And now Harvey's is soured in a lot of people's mouths. <laughs> yeah, our minds. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've actually got uh, I've actually got a Harvey's glass that I'm going to be drinking oh. one of these out of to see what happens. <laughs> I'm hoping it, that. It just evaporates, <laughs> starts boiling over, sacrilege. Um, so yeah, it's nice that uh, people still have a reason to go to Lewis because it's a great place. Mm. Yeah, you can get delicious cakes and coffees and beer now. It's got a good river. Yeah, yeah. Um, always, always, always good to have a nice river. Yeah, it makes a place, and they've yeah. got a cliff. So the tap room's like it's an industrial estate fair as you expect, but it's like mm. it's in the shadow of this like white cliff river yeah. there. It's at the end of the industrial estate, which I think is is quite a good thing. Mm -hmm. You're not like you've got a soft play area. <laughs> That's it's probably, a, it's probably a mattress <laughs> showroom. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And soft it's, play yeah, area. It's yeah. a great spot. Fun um, for all the family. Yeah, you just kick off the kids. Kick yeah. off the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do normally. Just kick. kick off. <laughs> Daddy's drinking beer. Go over there. <laughs> oh. That was me pretending to punch my kid <laughs> on, on camera there. So it's, it's on it's record to, now. It's, it's off to a good start. So yeah. shall we get this uh, this beak tasting underway? Beak speak. Yeah, let's do it. I've uh, speak. I've written us the theme tune. Well, great. It doesn't actually have a melody. I don't know if, if that's a prerequisite. If you're ready for episode one, season one, yeah. Of speak. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to do this. Here we go. I can't remember the. I, I wrote this maybe. A few hours ago, and I can't remember the kind of beat that I wrote it to, but there's just two pals, they've got two mouths above their mouths, they've got a nose, they know their nose, their nose is no, the smell of beer, they love their beer. It's time for beer, some special beer. Let's take a peek, a pair from Beak. It's Jake and Ollie's Beak Speak. <laughs> oh, well, that was. <laughs> I think. Oh, and, and then I removed you from the stream. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> <still going>. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs> that was incredible. Wasn't it good? Yeah, that was that was really good. I'll say. I, I, like I, like, I like the I like the nose bit. <laughs> yeah, got a bit carried away. They know the smell of beer. They love their beer. It's time for beer. <laughs> Some special beer. <laughs> I need to get it to peak and beak. No, well, so. well we, 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 as the episodes progress, we can we, we can build on it. <laughs> some arrangements, some percussion. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get the UK, I'll get the ukulele out. <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we can we can take this further. So um, yeah, let's have some beer. Yeah, as uh, after that glorious introduction, shall we go for the locals IPA? 
Let's do it. I love so, the bodies. Yeah. This it's very good. I, I like the artwork on all the cans. So some people I I've heard it can be a bit divisive, the artwork. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I, I really like it. Yeah, they've gone yeah. uh I think they they bring according to the little blurb on the can, they bring Sussex locals to the tap room to actually design the cans there for their oh, next okay. upcoming brew. So this one. Uh as part of an ongoing project, we're inviting locals at our Lewis Tap Room to guest edit labels. The first in the series is designed by ceramicists and illustrators Liv and Dom, who, whose work aims to both celebrate and de-objectify the female form. Livandom.com. Yes, it's, it's this. I really like this one. Yeah. I mean, they haven't, as far as I know, they haven't done one with their actual label on, although I think Parade had that on. Uh, yeah, pra- yeah, I've got a can of Parade there. Because I love the, that. I, main, you main immediately logo. know it was a guy... Reading a pamphlet, yeah. Reading the holding a. I thought it was. I thought the yellow thing was the main subject. It was just like a duck. I thought it was a duck. For when <laughs> I first started seeing the 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 logo about, I was like, "Oh, it's a little duck!" Like what? I, like that's the tail of the duck, and that's you like can beak, and you go, "That's got to be." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's not a duck. It's a man reading about all yeah. of Lewis's. <laughs> yeah, so it's supposed to be like a historical brewing book or something like that, isn't it? It's it's got some. Some uh, substance to it. So oh, anyway, right. this, yeah. this is a uh, beer called Locals. It is a six percent IPA, and it's brewed with Citra Nelson. And the yeast is London Fog. Oh, so have you have you had this one before? I haven't. No. Um, yeah, I've had Parade and uh, didn't get my hands on the pills, and they've just released the other one. Um, I don't know. The names can't stick on me, but um, yeah, this is this is exciting stuff. Mine was packaged on the fourteenth of December. Yeah, same here. So same, oh, nice. same, same beak batch. <laughs> <laughs> but they are firing through them. I mean, it's one of these. You can, it's it's hard to keep up. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And then they're all around sort of like the the six percent range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because because I've because I've got a few of my empties here lined up, so I've had parade, I've had tumbles. That was a good one. It's like a stack of books falling over. Oh yeah. So, Self portrait was the first one. I had like four four point five percent pale ale. That was that was damn good. But anyway, should we should we take a look at this yeah. mama jammer? So it's a I mean it's lemon curd, ultra hazy. It's not murky, but it's got a, a nice amount of haze to it. Yeah, good decent decent head as well. It's uh it's not too creamy, but yeah, mine looks a bit washed out in this, but I think that's because I'm just compared. You look so like tan. You know, like it's because uh, I've got like a, a like a, a beige room, so it's just like the beige. The beige is just <laughs> the, the, beer, the beer looks a lot darker on the screen than it is, yeah. is in my hand. So yeah, lemon curd is where it's at. Kind of a yeah. posh butter. A <laughs> posh butter. Oh yeah, smell like butter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of getting lemon curd as well. Mm. Oh, this one good. There's a there's a little bit of like mustiness, like great yeah. mustiness, but not nothing sort of overpowering. No, it's it's, it's pretty mellow. Um, yeah, yeah. There's a little getting. I think there's going to be like a a nice white grape kind of freshness to it. But yeah, it's. I'm hoping that it's not curdy in its kind of texture. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You want it to yeah, be but, yeah. And relatively, but definitely... you don't want it to be. Exactly. There's definitely a lemon zinging to it. A little bit of like pineapple. Yeah, that bit of great muffiness. I think I'm going to have a big old guzzle. Yeah, I think should, we go, uh, should, just, should we go for a sip? Just take a small hair out of here. <laughs> well, as long as it's your own. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Invite. That's okay. We'll see if you get invited back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should we say that for the, the, the rest of the, the review <laughs> over? See you later, guys. Thanks for the Oh yeah. Hmm. It's yeah. got like sharpness at the start, sharpness and bitterness, and then it is delivering with a bit of like it's got a bit of weight to it. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Keeps keeps reminding you that it's like. It's chunky, six percent. It's not like a sippy, fizzy goes away. It's a yeah. I think I think it's great. It's a 
It's cut in my mouth. Nice yeah. and thick. It's yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's quite got, rich. Got a slickness to it. Yeah. 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 Been getting quite a lot uh, in a lot of recent ones. Are kind of when you've melted white chocolate in your mouth, not in a flavor kind of way, but in like a the the texture, sweet, melty, oily. Yeah, something about it, but. That's, yeah, that's great. That's that's delivering for me on on the texture alone. Yeah, yeah, it's very enjoyable. Again, it's, it's again, it's for me. It's a little bit of lemon in there, but it's pineapple. There is a softness to it, uh, sort of like a bit of a peachy peach yogurt vibe to it. Yeah, but it's just. I mean, I've drunk it pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna. That's the thing with these. They're just gonna. They're gonna go. Mm. But citron. I'm a big fan of. Nelson, it's not too Nelson Ford. It's not like it goes down completely sort of white wine, yeah, grapey territory. But there is there's a there's a little something there. There's a little musty edge to it. Yeah, that that, that rounds it out and it stops it just being overtly tropical. Yeah, yeah, precisely. Yeah, yeah that's uh, a. I'll always be a sucker for Citra, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm heavily biased towards both a Lewis Brewery and a, a Citra Ford Brew. But yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is something special. Mm. I, I have had I have had this before, but I drank it on a hangout what? after I'd, after I'd had other beers. Yeah. Um. And so it, it was it was it was nice, but I, but this is this tastes better now. <laughs> yeah. I can see it kind of fading away yeah. in and amongst a, a session. I don't think when we went to the tap room, I worked my way through the whole spiel that they had. Um. There was one with horses on it. I think it was called something to do with horses. It was what, that memorable. What, what's it called? Horses. <laughs> I want to say it was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was actually called horses. Oh, Listen, God. I've got I've got untapped in front of me. We can we can we can we can find this. But a lot of them faded into one blur by the end of it. But the one that I came out was remembering was this with horse one that I can't remember. So, well, it's a bit like when I went when I went down to um, found it is called horses. <laughs> so okay. that, yeah. Yeah, it's like a like a rye IPA. Probably yeah. stood out stood out yeah. amongst yeah, yeah. The, the other stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a bit like when I went down to Verdant when I was in when I was in Falmouth, and it was literally every beer was a pale beer, and they're sort of great when they're on their own. But then when you have like eight pale beers <laughs> one after the other, you're like, yeah, they're, they're pretty yeah. pretty similar. Yeah, they're just coagulating inside you into some into like an actual pineapple. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. So, same amount of like acid. Acid yeah. reflux happening. Oh, I'm just going to yeah. quickly run through some some comments because we had a bit. Uh, I sort of forgot about the comments, and we've had we've had a few. So, uh, uh, Thomas is saying hi, everyone. Hi, Thomas. Uh, Can be over you saying cheers, guys. Hopzine saying oh. evening gents. Exalted oh. YouTube legends in the chat. James Moore <laughs> and evening guys. Jagman Seven. Evening oh. all. Look at that angle. <laughs> oh, nice! Yeah, I've had it. Oh. Uh, I enjoyed beat Death Pills on Wednesday. I, see, like I, I do like Lager, but I, w I wanted to buy their uh, their other beers before I got that. If I see if I see it about, I will give it a go because it does look nice. Because they've got like a nice glass to go with it and everything. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Even though I don't need any more glasses in my <laughs> in my life, <laughs> it was still a nice looking glass. Uh, the pencil portal was pencil great. was great. Yeah, I do, I, from Adrian yeah. Dune. I'm banging on about these horses, but yeah, we had pencils as well. At the tavern, horses probably. and pencils. Yeah, the shittest <laughs> Guns and Roses tribute. <laughs> uh, Strangers is the best for me. Back on their site next week, they said, "Oh, what, what style is that? Do you have Strangers?" Yeah, almost never, certainly did. <laughs> never, never talked to him. Probably, uh, oh yeah. Do you rate Tenant Super Strength? Always. Yeah, well, I rate it, but it'd probably be a, quite a low, that's what, <laughs> low that's rate. What I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> now cracking open a can of Parade. That's a damn fine beer. Had it the other night. It was. Delicious. It's great that they they make their way around. I think they're everywhere. You can buy it now. It's annoying. They used to do free local delivery to uh, to Worthing for their first week of do it, uh, first week of lockdown, and you could get little milk bottles full of like keg fresh. It was just yeah. epic for like they were doing it. It was twenty percent off all bottles like that, and then free delivery. It was just a dream. And then yeah. they stopped doing Worthing delivery after a week, and now they just do Lewis and Brighton. It's oh just, god, it's disgusting! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh okay. I miss. Oh, I didn't actually read the comment. Bathed in beige, bourbon barrel aged, breaded brown. Now. 
uh, got a can of locals in the garage, so hope it's good. It's damn fine stuff. Chef's kiss. Sounds a bit. It sounds a bit. A bit sketchy. Chef, got a can of locals yeah. in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> what have they ever done to you? They come round here and I put. Them in the garage. <laughs> Uh, what is the worst beer available on Asda shelves? I don't, I don't shop at Asda, so oh, I don't, no, I don't I know. But since we lived in Cambridge, it'll probably be like the Asda, like best beer. You know, when it's like two point one percent or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. white that, can, that, white on that, green. Yeah, <laughs> similar to Putty, I guess. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. different take on it. <laughs> uh, Locals was one of my IPAs of last year. Citra and Nelson is a delicious combo. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think it helps that Citra is a little bit bit more dominant, and Nelson sort of like hmm. back backs it up. And Ohanra says, evening all. Evening. Thanks for joining us. Let us know what you're drinking. Mm. So, mm. yeah, so this is going down swimmingly. I, I have got uh, have got the untapped open. Do you want to see what other people think about Always. this? Piece? Yeah, yeah. Let's go Let's go for it. Um, share screen. Ask my mum stuff how to do it. Yeah, it's, it's surreal <laughs> because to, to me, they've, like, they've been going about a week, but they've, I don't know, their Twitter account, they've had it since 2009. But yeah, well, they, 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 they were they they cuckoo brewed for quite yeah, a yeah. quite a long while, like with with more or less every sort of good. Yeah, I thought they did brewer. kind of north to start with, and then I I they came into my radar when they did the Burning Sky stuff just as just before they started doing their own. Yeah, um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, well, they well, they they, 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 they I'll I'll, I'll, share, I'll, share, I'll share that back in a minute, but the the um the first time I really became aware about them was your parade video. <laughs> <laughs> which has to be mentioned <laughs> if no one said it after this don't go now after this go <laughs> go and watch that video if you haven't seen the intro. Parade video because you get a copyright strike. strike yeah yeah did you get a copyright strike for that no no it's great right. I, I i used bloody five seconds of the monkey <laughs> and they, they copyright strike me but <laughs> yeah give a shit. my chemical romance are just like yeah use it. Use yeah it. yeah that was great right i'll, I'll share I'll, let's see what let's see what other folk have been saying about um about locals, no one know how to actually do it. Hopefully, this I'm sharing this. So exactly. it's four point one, four point one out of five, which is damn fine. Yeah. Damn fine score. Turn the ratings, it's good. And lots of lots of fours. I, I like it when I like it when someone's done a bit of text with it because I, I, I don't old watery. Someone's saying, yeah, another great bit of beef. Oh yeah, orange peel. Thick, juicy. I'm not getting grapefruit really, unless that was that kind of first sensation where you get a nice bit of sharpness. But it's good. mosaic and citra. Let's drink another beer, I think. Uh, they don't make IPAs like this. Raw, oh. and food, taste homemade in the best way. You can, you can refresh this. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you, you, sure can do. you can the fresh. Are they saying it to the beak? Like, you can the fresh. <laughs> And I'll drink it. Yeah. <laughs> like really aggressive. You can the freshness. <laughs> My first beer from Beak, and it's a really nice one. Big citra influence on the aroma. We said something similar. Soft and incredibly mm. drinkable on the palate with plenty of those lovely Nelson Seven hops that take over somewhat from the citra. Tropical, resinous, crushable. Get on. Sam G. So it. yeah, lots, lots, lots of positivity. Really nice, sweet, juicy. Just a really nice drink. <laughs> 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 that's a great one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so L lots, lots of positive stuff. It's nothing not but, to like. That's the exactly, thing. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Beauty of an IPA. It's not divisive. I mean that may be to its detriment, but I don't know. There's nah, female right. empowerment on the can, six percent, four pound a can. Well, it's a winner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is is good is good price point for, you, for the beers, I thought. You picked up your mixed case. Via cloud water, yeah, via cloud water, and it was like twenty two pounds for like four beers. So it was like two IPAs, the big stout that we're going to get onto later, yeah. and uh, the, another can of the like four point five percent payoff. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. And then I obviously got cloud water beers. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say like, alongside a, a bigger. I'm just interested why you went to cloud water and not to. Well, because because um, I think it was just because of the mixed four pack. I don't think all those beers were available on the Beak website. Um, so it was to get it was to get parade, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, um, I think, I think it, and it just worked out to be like a really good deal, especially for the the big the big stout. Yeah, yeah. Come on, go paid six fifty for mine from Worthing's finest bottle and jug, bottle and jug. Great. Again, doorstep delivery. Mm. It's fantastic. That's that's how I got my, like my can of putty. 
so yeah. quick because it's like they just did it to my door. Normally, I would have had to go out or never, never would have got it. Just pour it through the letterbox. It was yeah. <laughs> right in there. I'll, I'll hold my camera here and you just pour it through the letterbox so I can do the review. Reviewing it through yeah. gurgling. But don't don't, don't oh. tip it. I need to smell it first. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's that would be the next stage for getting an ultra fresh review just poured yeah, just into your mouth by the brewer. Yeah. Oh. When you went to Falmouth, was it? Um, did you actually go to the, the brewer itself, or were you in? No, we, it, I place? went to the went to the seafood place. Nice uh, for the verdant stuff. It was um, that that seafood place was so good. The food was yeah. incredible, and uh, yeah, and but the yeah the only shame was well not shame but it, 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 they had eight beers on and they were all pale. So I would mm. like a little bit of variation. Yeah, but um, but other than that, it was it was really good. I think where it used to be, or next door to where it used to be, it used to be a club called Mama Africa. Um, okay. When we were at uni, it was open for like maybe three weeks, and they did this thing where they hid. I mean, like nightclub floors are the worst. Yeah. I mean, it's like a petri dish or everything. Yeah. <laughs> they hid these like Mama Africa dollars. On the floor, these, but they were like kind of tissue paper. So they just didn't last at all. And he was like, "You got one ticket to the bar, and it was worth like a, a quid if you had it." Yeah, well, a horrendous idea. Yeah, like, great thing on the floor for like little dregs of tissue paper. Yeah. Uh, so the like, people try and like make their own. Just go to the box <laughs> and just like draw it on the, on the toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly gone up market now with a craft mm. beer and seafood bar. Yeah, did you eat? Burden. I did eat. Oh yeah, yeah, I ate I ate heartedly. Wow, it was it was very good. <laughs> they, they, I had like this taco because it's all like small plates, so I yeah, ordered yeah. about twenty small plates, and they did this taco, and it was uh, like it was like squid ink in the in the tortilla, mm. and uh, and so it was like a like a black taco, just a black so, hole. And, and then it was and then it was like obviously the fish in it, and then it had like sort of uh, pink like pickled. I can't remember what the pickle was, but it was like pink. So it was like such a stark plate of food, like sort of like. Like neon pink on sort of black sort of thing yeah it's like eating a galaxy not the, cho- <laughs> not, not the chocolate <laughs> that was dessert that was just a yeah i i sort of snuck the galaxy in just to have a little, <laughs> little bite of it just to sort myself out <laughs> oh dear yeah, yeah, was that, f- um... f- found was a great place yeah it's great yeah. i mean we haven't been uh so i was there for in 2012 for uh, my master's and then um graduation the following year but I haven't been since then um because mm-hmm. there's all manner of places that have opened up like yeah was, hand bar was a thing when we were there but it was pretty bad and now it's like verdant's go-to stockist. Yeah. um yeah and there's uh is that louter place opening there or is that somewhere else i think i think there is family was that like a shop and Bar yeah. type situation. Food and drink space and brew space. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think it is. Were well, they crowdfunded, weren't they? Yeah. Usually they uh, got their sixteen pounds. It was mm-hmm. good. Clearly, they like emerged with their crowdfunding, and everyone hadn't heard of these guys, and then they, everyone who's anyone was like, yeah, back. oh really. The, yeah, they're the ones to go with, and I think they smashed it. So, oh, that's cool. So, they, they must is it a I take it's not a first venture then? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they, they've made a, a family in beer and have, have now taken it. Uh, so the guy ran pubs for 15 years, they met in Falmouth. Uh, original employee of Verdant. Wow, oh, there you go. Nice, yeah. Uh, worked at Beer Merchants Tap, launched Brewcom. Yeah, so I think he knows what, yeah, what we're doing yeah. as, a, as a couple. So, yeah, it's it's good. But there's, I was going to sign up. I was going to back them because you, I think you got a their first subscription box. Uh, oh, okay. They're doing, and it was they had some good stuff. But uh, I'm funny with crowdfunding. I I feel like I'm holding back so many. If I did one, then I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't justify just doing one. Yeah, and it's um, and it's not like like you live too local, is it? This is not like you'd yeah. be able to sort of go all the time and yeah, that sort of thing. a tenuous link if yeah. I wandered in. Oh yeah, I've come down from <laughs> 400 miles away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I was going to run through these next few comments and then maybe we'll take a a look at the stout. Yeah, let's do it. 
Uh, James Moore said, enjoyed the re... re oh, God, I can't fucking talk. Enjoyed the review of Putty. But living 10 minutes from Verdant, I think they produce better stuff all year round, especially on tap. Oh, thank you very much, James. They, they, um, they, it, it was, it was really enjoyable the beer I had, but it, it wasn't sort of like a showstopper. You, you, there's just as good stuff coming out from lots of breweries, and yeah, probably their beers that they knock out all the time are just as good. Uh, Verdant Quiet Charge is really nice. That is, that's like their low ABV yeah. hazy yeah. number, isn't it? Uh, their their further dip last summer was just as good. Sounds like some horrible disease. Oh, double IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> yeah, you don't want the dip. <laughs> uh, the the seafood bar is so good. It is it is so good? I, we went there. We went there. Like we only, we only went to Falmouth for like four days because we bookended it with going to like up, uh, other places, sort of thing. Hmm. Um, and we went there twice in like four days. <laughs> I think yeah. I went there three times, but like one to drink and twice <laughs> twice to eat. Small plates are just throw it forward. Yeah, and and it's and it's a good. Because if you like it, you're like you can just order like another one. Yeah, and that's how they that's how they get me. It's like because that wasn't enough. Like that taco, I had it in two bites, and I know I need yeah. another one. <laughs> and it's so good. They usually just turn up when they're ready, don't they? It's not like yeah. here's your here's your main meal. Here's your twenty eight plates that you've ordered. It's just yeah, you're halfway through like some delicious black hole taco, and then a galaxy taco turns up. And you're like, oh, is oh, it? Yeah. Hey, I ordered this because when when we were there, they like were bringing the food over, and then they brought over like. Um, I like a bowl of mussels, and I, I, I like mussels, but uh, but we didn't order them, and and we're like, oh, we didn't we didn't order those. Are they for somebody else? <laughs> and they're like, oh no, you can just have them. <laughs> they obviously just me messed up the order, but they're like, did like take it back or kind of stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, because what they're going to do with it? Just like chuck them out. Exactly. They take it back to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's good. It, it's it's a good place, but um. I, I, I've nearly finished this. This locals. <laughs> I have yeah, just, had a, a, just had my final gulp. I'm yeah. eyeing up this. this any boy. any any further thoughts on locals before we? Uh, yeah. before I think it's got a, it, a a little prickle of bitterness is coming out now. Yeah, it's sort of like it's built up. It's not. It's obviously not a bit of beer at all. But there is a little prickle of bitterness that I'm yeah picking up now. I was going down a tree. It, I mean, it's it might be sitting a bit too heavy on me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Get that it's six percent. I'm, I'm thinking it's like four, but it's. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. It's whether it's that the the kind of oily thickness to it. It's, yeah. it's sitting in my lower guzzard. <laughs> is that is that a beak term? <laughs> lower <laughs> guzzard. Um, yeah. No. I can. I can. I can do it's, way, it's, but... not, it's not the. It's not the sort of like most heavily carved beer. Yeah. But then it could. If it's too carved, then that's a problem as well, isn't it? So. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I know. Solid. Stuff. And yeah. Yeah, because cause like I, I ordered my first load of beak beers like in the middle between Christmas and New Year, and then they like turned up and in, in, at the start of January. Um because I ha heard so many say heard so many people say such good things about them and I hadn't hadn't tried any, so I got like a little smorgasbord. Oh, and nice. then and then the first one I opened was their like four point five percent pale ale. And I had it, and I was like, "Fuck me!" Yeah, yeah. If they if they can like do this with four point five, and then I start, and then I've like fanboyed on them ever since. And like my my Instagram is essentially devoted to them now. It seems like the last like six posts, three of them have been uh, dedicated a, a three seasons and a and a yeah. movie. <laughs> and I, I'll, I'll do. I, it'll be like Dad's Army. I'll just keep going and going <laughs> and going until all the cast are dead. <laughs> and then I'll do a remake, and yeah, uh, yeah Phil Knight will be involved. Uh, that, well, that'd be great. That would be great. Which, which, which one of us would Bill Nye play? I think. Oh, I, think, no, I, think I don't know what I'm going to age. Yeah, <laughs> I think Bill Nye's got like your frame, your like yeah. lofty frame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seventy-five year old man. I'll, I'll, I'll be like Toby Jones or or somebody. Yeah. Like that. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. There you go. I don't know. Um, he's a talented guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, there, there will be a movie made about beer tube. What one 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 day? Wow. We can dream. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So much casting to be had. Yeah. Well, we know the theme tune. We just need to rework the beak. Beak. Theme. <laughs> yeah. That'd be like a seminal moment. Moment in it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a full fifty-piece orchestra to yeah. play us out. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It'd be like Ro Robbie Williams would do like a cover of it or something. Yeah. Don't know why Robbie Williams came to my head, but it'd be perfect for the beak speak. It would definitely still be going when. It, when if you're watching, <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Hit me up. I'll send you the Google Drive link. 
Get cracking on the melody. Uh, right. I've, I've got like two more sips of this, so I might as well finish this now. Normally, I just sort of like only have half of the beer and then I just leave the rest and then drink okay. it later. That's, but, that's um, a testament to how good it is. You yeah. might do that with this one. So, mm. um, I'm going to be more of a sipper. I might uh, just introduce it while you're still sipping. Yeah. Yeah, go for so it. Moving on to this Oopla uh, 10% Imperial Stout. This can is reminding me of, of something. It's got a little spinning man. Uh, it's a bit sort of McKellar esque. Sort yeah. Of yeah, yeah, little two D weird. Don't really know how to do the eyes. <laughs> yeah, so kind of like Peppa Pig. Yeah, this unctuous imperial strength stout was brewed with oats, flaked barley, and a complex mix of crystal and roasted malts before being infused with whole vanilla pods and Brazilian coffee from our friends at Pharmacy, an independent micro roaster just down the road. Expect rich, heady aromas of cacao, tobacco, white oak, and licorice. It's first of December. This one packaged on. Uh, mm -hmm. It's about coffee wrong on the ingredients, which is a fun little tidbit. Cough beans. <laughs> Cough beans. Yeah. That's that, that's uh, if, that's if you get if you get COVID, then you need to take some coffee <laughs> to stop your stop your cough. Uh, this illustration was done by J Cover. Mm. J Cover. Cover, not Jake Other. No uh, <laughs> relation to Jake Obeer or Jake Obeek. <laughs> Jake Obeek. I think uh, that for you. Yeah, I've had a beer from. No, oh, no, it wasn't. Hang on, <laughs> this is going to be bad. Oh, what were they called? That wasn't very good. That beer. Was it like a coffee? A coffee it had beer? pharmacy's coffee in it. Oh, okay. Um, with. Oh, I think it was from Abyss, who are also in Lewis. Um, they did a collaboration with St. Mars of the Desert as well. Um, yeah, so Abyss, actually, interestingly, they've just, they had a pub um, opposite end of Lewis, and they've just crowdfunded a tap room as well there um, and brewery okay. and stuff. Abyss stuff's great. They're vanilla ice. It's called vanilla ice. Uh, it's like a white stout with like, so much vanilla in it and it was one of my one of our local pubs delivered it like super fresh in a milk bottle right at the start of lockdown it was a good yeah. march lockdown beer um, <laughs> yeah and i think i think they they do stuff at pharmacy so i can vouch for the coffee beans <laughs> the cough beans they the because have, have you actually had any because you you quite like coffee didn't you have you had anything from pharmacy no uh i get my coffee usually from horsham coffee roasters um or there's one in Arundel called Edgecombe. So um haven't had one from pharmacy. Have one from small batch in Brighton. Um yeah, so pharmacy have eluded me, but yeah, I do like my coffee. Yeah. What, what's your take? What, what's it oh that great, great YouTube like channel. It. It's it's yeah. so good. Like the one where you when you were trying like that like 90 year old coffee in a park. <laughs> do you, do you see oh, the, 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 the Bernie do you see put the Bernie meme right next yeah. to it? <laughs> the Bernie meme is just uh that that'll be that'll be our next live show just like reviewing James Hoffman yeah. video. Oh they, they, they seen is the one today with the scrambled egg. Oh I, seen that. I saw it like I saw the thumbnail oh, but God. yeah. Uh but no my uh my daily it was an AeroPress. Um I've got a fellow Prismo um espresso knows for it um and that that it was that before christmas but then at christmas i got a um v60 carafe the glass Ooh. one that he's used with a little rubber yeah um because we haven't got the right hob for a chemex really so yeah. yeah and it's good fun the v60 it's a lot of it takes a lot more grounds and a lot more effort to make a lot less coffee than the aeropress yeah that's I, 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 I need to yeah, I've got a, like a little espresso machine, like a cheapy thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's perfectly adequate for for my for my usage. But I, I think an AeroPress, I might have to have to get so, one. Yeah, you've got to. It's so much fun, and you yeah. just instantly become coffee nerd. Yeah, like, you don't need to do anything else. You can because there's a box. Like whenever you order coffee online, there's now a box for AeroPress that you tick, and it's a specific grind for that. And you just feel like <laughs> a certain level of aloof. Yeah, just, yeah, I love it. It's so much fun. And yeah. it's, you can take it into work, and it it's like so much like a penis pump that it's just <laughs> yeah, it's like, like what the fuck is that? To just whip out and be like, 
11 a.m. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit of a douchey thing as well, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just someone's doing a whip around with like Nescafe Gold Blend, and you're just like, well, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I'd, I'd like a Chemex as well, but I just know I just wouldn't do it. I'd buy it, I'd do it yeah. a couple of times, and then uh, I don't know. I don't think like pour over is is for me. No, they're oppressors. I've had it for I think two years now, and it's a it's a dream, and it's the yeah. easiest thing in the world to wash up, and it makes better coffee than you than you'll have any other way. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll see how drunk I get tonight, and then probably order one. <laughs> Anyway, this isn't bean speak. This is beak speak. <laughs> let's get on with the. I'm staring at beak speak. Thing. I need a coffee pun to end this <laughs> yeah. way away. Yeah, right. All right, let's go for it. A reminder: ten percent imperial stout, oopla. Yeah, vanilla and cough beans. Is it, oh, is that is that did they split it because of the pharmacy connection? So that's why they called it cough beans on the, oh, very good. On the back. Ooh. It's not. Too, it's not pouring too thick, but it's looking luscious. It's looking silky. Mm. I'm excited to taste white oak once again because I haven't had it since uh, yesterday for dinner when I had a large amount of white oak. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. oh my god! So I poured this in the Harvey's glass to see if oh. the glass is going to implode. But yeah, what a treat! Oh, well, that's goodness. that's pretty. That's pretty. Well, actually, it's probably. Very dark brown, isn't it? You can yeah. just see the just see the light through it. But it looks silky and lovely, and lovely. a oh, yeah. beige like my room. It's got that kind of mold. <laughs> it's got that kind of moldy uh, top that you get a lot of the time when there's there's like bigger bubbles kind of meeting yeah. in the middle, and you like, just a, like like a pellicle. Yeah, on top of a on top of a cask. Yeah, it looks yeah. fantastic. Should we go for a sniff? It's Let's already it. bouncing out. Oh, okay. Oh, it's oaky. Burnwood. Oh, really, it is, really it is ro roasty coffee. Wow, yeah. Little, not too much of the vanilla, but no, not not on the not on the nose. It's I don't think. So, it's just burnt wood and roasted coffee. Yeah, something a not, little bit sort of um, little red berry-ish as well. A little bit of like. Maybe plum or something. Yeah, like when that. you the kind of dark chocolate when they when it does have a degree of like a a red berry to it. Yeah, like a uh, a, a Logan berry. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's, 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 it smells dry, doesn't it? Like you say, it smells yeah, like, yeah. like. I don't like, know if that's uh, just the glass wood now dissolving, like at the end of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> infinity, or no. just turning yeah. back into sand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go for a taste. Cheers. Cheers. It's not this. <laughs> oh, that's thicker than it poured. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. Coffee. Way more chocolate. Now. Yeah. Wow. And in, like this it's silly to say for a 10% beer, but so incredibly easy to drink. <laughs> yeah. It is unreal. It's like melted chocolate. Mm. Sweet vanilla, but yeah, mm. a little, a, again, a little some, something, a little sort of like, like ashy in there. Someone's Doesn't made matter. a mocha with really, really, with a really dark roast, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of, and like really dark chocolate instead of wow, mm, milky smooth. Yeah, Li yeah, a little bit, a little bit chewable. There's a little bit of kind of a fruit sourness as well, just like papping through it, and you just do the little like, yeah. Yeah, definitely. There, there, there's, there Sharp. is something. That, yeah, something a little bit more. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. It's not sour, is it? But there is, there is a. I don't. know, It's hard to describe. It's not red. Like I don't want to say red berry again because it's not particularly no. like red berry. But there is a fruitier note coming through. Bloody hell! Mm. Oh. I think that's just met up with the locals. Yeah. Not in the way. <laughs> that's that's their fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, that that oh. is that is my sort of my sort of stout as well. Yeah, where where the where you feel the adjuncts are working with the my god, yeah, core beer rather than it being complete. It's because it's not necessarily it's not necessarily overtly coffee flavored. No. It, it's not like a synthetic coffee. It 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 it, it, it just works. It's it's yeah. really good. The vanilla is not huge in it. There is a there is a yeah. sweeter element, but that's more like it's coming through more like chocolate for me. Yeah, it's just a bitter. Yeah. Cocoa. Don't know about the tobacco. That's not a flavour that I can really identify with too much. But 
It's yeah. like you take a moment away from drinking it, and it's just that that yeah, the two bits of the back <laughs> of your mouth just start to go, just start to like crease up, and you just got oh, it's just rich and epic. I want to make a cake with it. I want to just be with it. <laughs> I want to spend some time away from the stream with it. <laughs> I want to spend some alone time with this beer. Yeah, yeah that it's is making me feel like, like a natural woman. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's like a kick in the head. <laughs> it's make, it makes me just want to curl up. Maybe that's what they're doing by all their late. This locals just makes you get naked. I want to prance around naked. Do backflips. Yeah, an oopla just makes you want to curl up in a ball. Yeah. And I, I, I drank that one and just pushed pushed over all my books <laughs> instantly. St- stood 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 on my kids. You don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see what happened to the horse after our yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, or, or the pencils. <laughs> just fucking snapped them. Oh, but yeah, that's that's a special one. I like how I'm using my fine Spiegelau. Oh, glass right. and and then you've just got the Harvey's Harvey's pie glass. I wanted to see what happened. I I brought some nicer. I've got uh, so many of these little dumpy ones. I have got a nice duration one here. Ooh. Yeah. I might put yeah. my I, I, super I've got, IPA. <laughs> I've got a few stem ones, but um, I always seem to. Uh, I I've been using my Spiegel glass lately because I found a good method to clean them. After I had a whole debacle oh, where yeah, I got yeah. my spun my sponge stuck. I was like, I need a smaller sponge. I was like, I don't have a smaller sponge. I was like, oh, yes, I do. And I cut my sponge up. I oh. cut my sponge up, and then oh, now I've got God. like a per- perfect Spiegelau sponge. And now I've been using my Spiegelau glasses all the time. I can't believe they haven't uh, branded a Spiegelau sponge. Oh, they, yeah, they must have done. <laughs> oh, okay. They, they had to. made of glass, really inappropriately thin glass. Yeah. So. I can't believe I haven't, bro- I haven't broken any of my Spiegelau glasses yet. That's and I good. don't understand how. I have two children under five. That's mad. In my house, and because because once I had this really lovely stone glass, as in the brewery, not an actual stone <laughs> glass, and it was like it was almost like a tiku, like oh. or teku, however you say it, and and but like a little little bit sort of curvier than a teku, and one of my children just grabbed it and looked me in the eye as they oh. went, and it was so much. <laughs> I was like, no, and because it was such fine glass, it just shattered into forty thousand wow. pieces. There was no like large chunks. It was like they were just cackling. Yeah, and I was like, God, oh, I, lo- I love that glass. Oh, I-, I nicked it. So I mean, I got my comeuppance ah. for for nicking it. But there you go. Don't nick glasses. No. Yeah. yeah, they explode. Yeah, I'm always yeah. worried about because our uh, our taps get so hot. I'm worried about my Spiegel now, but I've had them for years and years. Yeah, uh, it's if you put cold in water in it first, and then you put hot. That's when they could. Yeah, yeah. That's when they could potentially crack. But um, I'm a big fan I, yeah. of those bottom ended, like these, not so much. But I've got like a uh, one from Big Smoke that's nice and rounded. I've got a nice virgin one as well, nice and <laughs> like half Willie Becker. Um, I haven't actually used this for for years. I, I actually had to clean it, which is quite disgusting. <laughs> but, mm. Yeah. When was the last time it was cleaned, or was it just dusty? <laughs> I need this as well. Like the apostrophe's <laughs> kind of worn off the, the Harvey, so. Yeah, oh, that's that's changing. It's changing as I drink it. I kind of want to. It is getting a little more. It is getting like fruitier now. It's become yeah, a bit it's getting figgy, yeah. a bit figgy and a bit um not quite. It's not quite Christmas cake. Maybe like a fruit cake sort of territory. Yeah. Like yeah. Dark, like I'm getting a bit more burnt, kind of burnt sugar. sugar. Yeah, and licorice. Not yeah. like a sweet licorice, but a very like kind of. Bitter, but just tastes like the color yeah. black. <laughs> like yeah, maybe a slightly overdone Christmas pudding. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of where it's caught a little bit on the uh, yeah, on the yeah, the court, yeah, the court bit. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. I always mm. like that. Like it's like lasagna, like the court bit of the lasagna yeah. where it's gone critical. Oh. I, I, I think so, like we had a lasagna the other day, and I was like, someone should make just the crispy bits of lasagna and put them in like a bag. That'd be yeah. such a good bar snack. Just the usual, crispy, so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> just waste a load of lasagna. <laughs> just chuck that out. Just the crispy bits. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. That's how, like, uh, how like burnt ends became a thing. Like everyone like, loves burnt yeah, ends yeah, and bar, yeah. Yeah, but just burnt edges of lasagna. Mm. Like two fifty in M and S, you can buy a little bag of the fish and chip shop scraps. 
Oh, <laughs> lots of batter. <laughs> just, <laughs> just batter bits for more for more than like four fish fillets in Iceland. It's just yeah, yeah. There's a there's a market for for the bits that get chucked away. Yeah, the crispy bits. <laughs> there was a um, oh, just while we're on lasagna before we yeah get the comments. There's a I saw an idea for lasagna. So you get one of these extra large hula hoops. You, know, you can get like the bigger <laughs> ones. Yeah, yeah. And you make a lasagna, but you you don't kind of overcook it in the way that it's crispy. You just make sure it's nice and soggy, and then push a hula hoop through the layers, and then remove it. And you've got this like potato encased mini lasagna. And I think <laughs> I think that's that would be my first small plate when I open up. Mother Africa, two <laughs> extras, <laughs> extra version you do, seafood bar. You do, you do like a taster menu and you come up and you serve it and, and you go, so this is a hula hoop encrusted bechamel yeah, pasta stack. Enjoy. And then you just go <laughs> back into the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and then with a sprinkling of Jake's burnt ends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Burnt lasagna bits. With a Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. Anyway, there you go. Should, mm. should, should have a look at the untapped. See what everyone else said. I'm I'm pretty sure this is going to be a a well received beer as well. I mean, I'm excited to see the the kind of metaphors and taste comparisons because there's something there. Tastes like I'm like an old book. <laughs> might the, that might be the tobacco. To yeah, extent, like the kind of burnty leaf, oaky. Okay. We can yeah. Score it. Four point one three. Four point one three is pretty good. Oh. Pretty good because because I I can see people who love like silly adjunct stouts not yeah. necessarily liking this. I think this is more of a a grown up beer. Yeah, uh, it's very good. Looking yeah. beer, like these photos, the the really frothy head. Not yeah. that one. It's got a bad backsplash, but yeah, <laughs> and a uh, Brooklyn. Oh glass. yeah, nice, gorgeous, straightforward MP with vanilla and coffee overtones. No mad flavors, simple but lovely. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd well, say that. Say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not crazy. Oh, shown off of his Goose Island. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Disguises the booze well. Yeah, that's. Yeah, well, that, I, I think that lends to its drinkability because you don't yeah. realize you're drinking a 10% beer. Yeah. Mahoosive coffee aroma. Almonds, almonds, apples, hazelnuts, and tonka. Come on, you should get a YouTube channel. <laughs> a- apple, apple skin. Apple, apple and it's like a really green apple skin where it's almost. Like maybe like a cooking apple, but not. Yeah, maybe maybe like a nearly gone off apple when it goes a bit mm. brown, maybe. But yeah, not not getting nothing like a, a chalkiness of a gala. Yeah, or the fruitiness of a pink lady. Ooh. That's flipping great. A thick roast coffee, a thick roast coffee, multi dark chocolate and vanilla wonder. Uh. Mm. <clears throat> nice touch. I was playing the old poker. I oh, know he's not playing solitaire. <laughs> <It's poker>. <laughs> <laughs> playing solitaire by himself, nerd. Excellent balanced stout. Yeah, I'd say definitely balanced. Roasty coffee and vanilla without being a sugar bomb. Yeah, we're we're all in agreement here. Fairly straight up stout. Bit of milky cocoa pops. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. What was that? It. Yeah, there's something quite serial about it, but. It's nice that they're right in that the the sugar's held back. Um, yeah, yeah, the sugar and the yeah. booze held back, and it's disguised under this super uh, kind of just the burnt the burnt coffee, the bitter licorice, the yeah, like leafy kind of tobaccoy stuff that I'm getting. But yeah, and then every now and then a bit of semi semi burnt Christmas pudding. Yeah, I, I I think it's if there is a, a sweeter sugary component, it's like burnt sugar, or like or like yeah, black treacle or something like that. It's, it's yeah. dark sugar. Oh, yeah, that's definitely really good. That's Again, great. I drank it way I too quick. That one. I don't know yeah. why I waited for the bloody pills. I don't know why I <laughs> instead. Well, I was, I was this this was really the because I've I've had sort of like five different pale beers from now, and I know they can do that so this is the first sort of dark beer i've had from them yeah um and i heard good things about it R- rob did a live stream and a live stream oh my voice cracked there Hello. um <laughs> rob did a live stream it was really good uh, uh, and and uh and he he drank this and it just sounded amazing i was like oh shit i've missed out on it um and then i was like oh i can i can buy it direct from beacon and then that cloud water thing came up and it was like four different beers and i was like oh 
Oh, I'll get that. Oh. Yeah. Is <laughs> one of the ones that they brewed with? Do you have any, do you know? No, when uh, they I don't know. You'd think they would. They would have done. I know they brewed with North. Um, it was on there. I think it does, I think it does say on their website. Yeah, it was a North. North Partisan, Beaver Town, Burning Sky, and Northern Monk. But yeah, that's including so. Well, I guess they would name Cloudwater. You'd, yeah, you'd think so. Yeah, but the uh, yeah the Beaver Town one's funny. Pre pre Heine, I reckon. I imagine. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because because they, they've actually been going like for quite a long time, <laughs> but just uh, just haven't really seen them about until tail end of last year. Really. Was it the Valentine's Chocolate Milk Stout? The Beaver Town one. Oh, was it? Oh, looks beautiful. Lust, Envy. Oh, it was like a Deadly Sins shenanigans. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's, it, it's definitely, I am, like, it, it's nice to, because I consume so much beer, not in like a alcoholic way, <laughs> but, but, and it's just nice to be excited about a brewery again um, and sort of like, lust after their beers because it can yeah. uh because it, it and it's it, it happens there's breweries i like and there's breweries i always go to because i know they're a safe pair of hands and i'm now not so much into the sort of like spending eight quid on a can if i don't if i know it's if if it there's a potential for it to not be that good yeah so i always look for that safe pair of hands um and that that's what i'm getting from beak really it's not the it's not the craziest stuff yeah but it is just so well made tastes absolutely banging Hmm. um it's not it's not silly in any way it's just perfectly brewed beer and that's because okay. that, that, that's the sort of brews i like i mean i love the kernel i love burnt meal love yeah. burning sky love these guys and like whereas whereas there are like some breweries that they're not always a they're not always a hit hmm. so they don't always get my money sort of thing yeah and if you can source them easily and get them without spending 15 quid on postage and yeah and minimum order of xyz then yeah, it's great to have that in your arsenal, I think, and it's great that. That's why I was so gutted that it that they stopped this free, yeah, <laughs> fresh work because I was like, this is it. This is the the brewery that I'll just do mm. Friday night delivery, get my weekend's worth, and just be done with it and do that for the whole of lockdown. Yeah, um, yeah, and it, it's nice that one's just started up in Worthing. That's that's half decent as well. So yeah, it's good to. Kind of add beak to your quiver, as you said, and 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 be able to call on them and know it's going to be consistently good. Yeah, but I just hope that it doesn't get stale quickly, as you mm -hmm. said. When I yeah. was in that room, the ones that stood out weren't the pale ales and the IPAs. When you went to Verdant, the ones that well, you wish there wasn't a IPA or a yeah. It's it's like oh, I do want IPAs there, but I don't want every yeah. every beer to be an IPA. Well, well, it's funny enough. So I've had so. Of the beers that I've got in front of me, the cans. So I've had Parade, Tumbles, and Locals. They're all six to six point five percent IPAs. Mm. Um, and yeah, they've they've been hazy. They've been sort of low bitterness, but they've all been different. Yeah. So they're, they're, it's not like they're exactly the same. Like I mean, Locals was very different to all of them, really. I'd say Parade was good. Parade's more like their house IPA, yeah. from what I understand. Yeah. So it's a little bit more muted, a little bit more easy drinking, where you can probably have a couple of pints of it um so yeah so it's um what was what was in this one so yeah so i mean this one was simco amarillo, amarillo and centennial on the uh on the tumbles so it was yeah. like completely different sort of like hot profile um because that's, 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 that's what you see quite a lot it's like a brewery brews like a citra nelson mosaic beer and then they'll brew a mosaic nelson citra yeah. beer and <laughs> it's like so you put in the same hops in but yeah. just different quantities each time so that's when it can start getting a bit samey, but yeah, these are, yeah, these these have been good so far. I'm gonna keep yeah. keep buying them. I'm gonna put more on my Instagram that isn't just Beak. <laughs> I'm not gonna become like a Beak Beak only Instagram. Check your Beak has a certain ring to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it works. Yeah. It works definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think again, it, as you said before, I think if you don't surround them in a session, surrounded by loads of other breweries equivalents of the same, then you can really appreciate them as well. So. Um, like this has been great because it's been like I just had a few lagers before here and so it was it was nice to jump into this and then that we didn't stack up two IPAs 
to no. compare against one against the other because you don't know they're just going to blur to an extent yeah. they may be quite different and their composition but there's going to be a degree of that so yeah this was a, this was a great combo mm -hmm. um yeah no it's good stuff and it would be great if if you could come down and and we could go down there because it's oh it's yeah, a nice definitely. pub and uh yeah. there's always the harvey's pubs exactly always to fall back on harvey's um, <laughs> Because there, there, there was like talk of them doing a, a festival this year, and yeah, and these hills. Were, yeah, and which I which they said like oh we'll be sending stuff out shortly, and then I think probably due to the yeah. lockdown restrictions it sort of didn't go much further. But they sort of said they're going to get like a, like American breweries over and yeah. all this sort of stuff. So if that if that happens, I'll definitely yeah, yeah. I'll definitely be down for that because that will that'd be that'd be amazing. Well, I haven't heard anything about it. I signed up when they. Yeah, same here. Signed up to their uh... yeah. But I imagine there. I mean, it would probably be bigger than Glastonbury, and Glastonbury's cancelled. So I feel like <laughs> they would probably go, hmm, maybe we yeah. should. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, I mean, they've clearly got a lot of. They can kind of pull some strings and get some people involved. There's something about them. Yeah. Um, well, it it's probably comes from that sort of um, that being a nomadic brewery. Yeah. you do make those connections yeah, and, yeah. It, and it isn't like they just stuck to a corner they went all across the yeah. all across the map yeah um yeah i mean they didn't just stick with sussex breweries and they and then a lot of those are just known by people in sussex i mean burning <laughs> skies they're probably the main exception maybe dark star but that's a bit different now yeah so um yeah it's great that they just got around and so yeah they can call on beaver towns contacts north's contacts partisans contacts and say <laughs> We've got a space in Lewis. Yeah, come yeah. on down. Yeah, and 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 it's great that they can sort of because I would say that these are like niche beers, aren't they? They're not. They they are drinkable and accessible, but they they're like you. It's not like they're just like knocking out a lager and yeah. loads of other uh, other like local stuff. So it's um it's good that they can sort of set up there and be successful. Yeah, uh, which is good because it's sort of, it's sort of the thing. Slot and then it was just. A queue halfway down the road, and then yeah, you stayed yeah. as long as you could, and then someone grabbed your seat. It's the hype is real. Yeah, exactly. Because well, that, that 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 that's the thing that um sort of burnt meal haven't done. Who are local brewery to me because they don't sell hardly any of their beer in Suffolk. It all goes oh, really? everywhere else. It goes yes. to Manchester. It goes to Leeds. It goes to London. It's like they don't sell any beer here, other than a few a few sort of places who get good beer in. Yeah. Um. So they don't have. Uh, they've got the setup for a tap room because I've been to a brewery and, they, and I've drunk at the bar that they have there, but it's not open to the public. They have a bar set up and ready to go, but I just think that they don't feel like there's the call for it. But I think if they did it, they'd be surprised. Be surprised, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I think there's a lot of people in Brighton and Lewis and Hove and in East Sussex places like Hastings and Eastbourne that are crying out for. Like Brighton's got some, but it's got things like Unbarred and Cloak and Dagger and. Brighton Beer and Lost Pier, and it's like these are just they're just sold in Brighton, they're sold in East Sussex and West Sussex, and then one and and they've all been under the shadow of Harvey's that's been this nationwide, yeah, of them, but for a different reason. And then Beak rocks up and is matching the styles, is matching the branding, the kind of just the way that they go about things. There's a lot of a lot of the other new breweries in the UK, and I think mm -hmm. a lot of the trendy Brighton people and Hove people and well, I think people <laughs> have got really excited by that and will make the trip as opposed to going to Cloak and Dagger's tap room. They'll go up the road just to Lewis, 10 minutes up the road mm -hmm. and, and do it. And I think Beak were good in the way that they did. They worked their way around the country, but then they came back to Burning Sky, sat on that release for a while yeah. and then built up the hype for the Lewis release and um, and they're opening and yeah i think there's a lot to say for drawing people out of the shadows in where you live and then using that as a way to spread the word yeah elsewhere. yeah you definitely want to like like get that local stuff first yeah. don't you because that's your bread and butter but you want to have that i mean it's like little earth project have this pub where next to their brewery hmm. in the absolute arse end of nowhere like it's, it's even difficult for me to get to and i'm only like 40 minutes away from it it's like no buses it is really it is rural um and but people go people like yeah. when it were well, obviously pre-covid time people camp there and sort yeah. of like made the pilgrimage there so i think if like burnt meal actually did open a tap room 
I think people would would flock yeah. to it because it's burnt meal. It's like there'd be a oh, everyone in East Anglia would flock to it as well as like it's accessible yeah. from London and all that sort of thing. So people people would go. But you probably, if you alienate yourself from your the place in your close proximity, but then explode elsewhere, then for a time like this when everyone's in lockdown and you're relying on people to do local orders and local deliveries, then that's yeah. when it can really, really come to your help, I think. So, um, yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's nice to see them blow up nationwide, but yeah, it's still nice to be local to them and support them in that way. Yeah, it's, it's really the best of both worlds. That's what they want yeah. as a business, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. want that local stuff because that's what trickles in all the time. <laughs> but they want that... Um, they want that mass appeal as well. Yeah. <laughs> we got we got a bit serious there. Yeah, beef speak. Bit, yeah, 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 yeah. More like deep speak. Oh, good job I'm recording this. Can I this <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah. No, so it's been absolutely fantastic. We're coming up to the well. We've gone past the hour mark now with our Ooh. with our waffle. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable experience, but. Shall we shall we call it there for big speak and then we might reopen with other speak <laughs> <laughs> other other beer to talk about shenanigans. Yeah. 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 Because I yeah, I'd like to leave this as its own little beak capsule. Yeah. I was trying to get I was trying to work my way to doing my favorite beak, n- nearly beak joke. But it still it still doesn't work, but I'll tell you the joke anyway. It's it's one of my favorite jokes of all time. Oh my god! You've heard uh, how, how how do you turn a duck into a soul singer? Oh, uh, I mean, you know I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How do you tuck a tuck? How do you uh, <laughs> turn a duck into a soul singer? Put it in the microwave until it's Bill Withers. There it is. There you go. But I couldn't yeah. quite make it work with Beak and Bill. I couldn't quite get it get it going. Yeah. So, well, I mean, uh, it's it's been good, but maybe we should get the Bill. We. I mean, I've got the theme tune. We could we could. We could end with the theme tune again. End, end on the theme tune. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, let me just finish these comments. Let's finish the comments. We'll say our goodbyes and then we'll end on the <laughs> big, big speak theme tune and get ready for episode two in like oh, four, really four, 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 four days. We'll, uh, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now opening the Day of Stout. All right, mate. My first Day of Stout duck out. Yeah, I've, I had a few when I went to the tap room um, and, they were, and they were damn decent. Uh, delivers maple oh maple and pecan. <laughs> oh, I thought there'd be more, more chef's kisses on this uh stream, but there wasn't. So I had them. <laughs> I was like getting the little you've got to go like that before. Yeah. The build up. <laughs> Cheers. I uh, I just Sir Tobias belched for and joined by the illustrious, renowned wow. I think that's playwright. a night uh, character. Yeah, no, it might not be. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. I thought he was dead. <laughs> yeah. He's still alive and kicking in the YouTube comments. Um, it's always fun when we get Dirty Den in the comments. <laughs> 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 Let alone William Shakespeare. So we're, we're honoured. We're honoured, sir. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everyone, for joining, for commenting, for uh, watching us sort of mainly dick about and then also talk about beer. <laughs> but yeah, mainly it, dick about. It's fun. Um, yeah, it's been and thanks for Ollie for joining me because it's always lovely to talk to you. We don't we we we, we message and stuff, but we need to talk face to face more. Yeah, eye to eye. Yeah, more yeah. More <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just more um yeah un unbeak speak. Um, but yeah, look out for the the next episode <laughs> of Beak Speak. It will end on the theme tune. Let's do it. I can't remember the melody, but I think it was. It doesn't matter. There wasn't much of one before. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Maybe I could do a, a kind of uh, uh, a sadder one. There's yeah, yeah. howls. They've got two mouths above their mouths. They've got a nose. They know their nose. Their nose is no. The smell of beer. They love their beer. It's time for beer. Some special beer. We've had our peak. And a pair from Beak. 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 Beak.